That'll send Zoe Tentaglu to the line. She'll go there to shoot two. How do you make that call? Tentaglu to shoot two. Can't get it to go. I'm sorry, it was a one and it was a two shot. She was going to the hoop, so she does get the second shot. Same way, MP, same way. She gets the second one to go. It's an 11 to 8 ball game. Lily with the ball, pressure to the backcourt. They get it down low. Kaufman looks to drive, puts it off the glass, can't get it. Rebound over the top, and in it goes for Mountain View as Elise Fitzsimmons, using that height advantage, gets it in. Pressure in the backcourt by the Spartans. Over the midcourt line by Marita, but then stolen away. Hughes on the breakaway, lays it up and in. Jamie Hughes, her first points of the night. Put that pressure on the Mountain and View. Mountain View opens up a cushion again. Three attempt on the way is a no good by Wong. Coming into the paint, shot is up, no good by Konkin. And a step out of bounds and over to Mountain View it'll go. Mountain View basketball, Natalie Lilly the inbound. It's it into Hughes. Hughes brings it up. Lilly with it, gives to Hughes. They'll come back up top and reset. Looks for the screen, gets it. Thought about the three, the nice pass down underneath. Fitzsimmons couldn't convert, but Kaufman comes away with it. Gives to Lilly. Lilly, the short jumper on the way is up and good. Natalie Lilly, her first point of the night. And it's back up to a nine point lead for Mountain View. Stolen away by Kaufman, goes in for the layup. And lays it up and in, and quickly a timeout will be called by Homestead. We'll take another look at that go, last Andy. series as Coffin just steps in front of that pass, lays it up and in. And we'd uh, KMBT Sports would like to thank Homestead Senior Care for their continuing support of high school sports programming. Homestead to them, it's personal. 5:53 to go here in the first half. 19 to 8, Mountain View. Shot of some of the crowd here tonight. Assembling, there's a little header, the girls and then the boys. Lots of action here at Mountain View and Mountain View steals it away again. Kaufman goes in and is hammered. And she will go to the line to shoot two. Nice touch on the first one. It's a 12 point lead now for Mountain View, their biggest lead of the night. All right, MV, fight for that rebound. Box out 11. Can't get the second one and rebounded by Homestead. A long pass down court that is errant and goes out of bounds as Megan Marita a look at disgust on her face. Jamie Hughes to inbound for Mountain View. She gets it into Yasmin Lancaster. It's it over to Kaufman. Kaufman looks to drive and then a push The foul is against Mountain View. Not sure why they're not shooting. Yeah. 
Uh, we'll take it. It keeps the action going. Nice read by Hughes. She drives to the hoop off the glass and in. Jamie Hughes has four points. And that was just a great job of court instincts by Hughes to pick that one off and take it in. Hughes, only a sophomore. Homestead ball, Lindsay Nishimoto with it. Gets it to Oshiro. They'll work it around. Under five minutes to go here in the first half. Jumper on the way is no good. Rebounded underneath and the putback is good by Shariari. She's got three points for Homestead. It's a 12 point Mountain View lead. Kaufman brings it up. Shot on the way is no good. Tipped around and rebounded by Homestead. Mountain View ball and then a timeout will be called as there's a injury on the play for Yasmin Lancaster. So Mountain View quickly takes the timeout. And we've got a break in the action. 4.24 to go in the half, 22 to 10 uh, Spartans. Spartan insignia on the wall. Telling you exactly where we are. Spartan ball, Kaufman in the backcourt. <laughs> Kaufman dishes off, nice job getting it to Jamie Hughes. She puts it off the glass and in. She's got six points all here in the second quarter. Almost losing the handle and then does. Hughes takes it away. Two attempt on the way, no good. Tipped around by two Spartans, and then a Mustang comes down with it. <coughs> Try to get it down low. They do. Shot is up. is no good by Shariari. But a foul called against the Spartans. It'll be against Jamie Hughes. Shariari misses the first, she gets one more. Let's get that rebound, MV. Hits the second. Pressure in the backcourt by the Mustangs. Spartans break it fairly easily, Kaufman. Dishes back at Hughes, and then a three attempt is a no good by Nishimoto. Scramble for to tip out of bounds. They're going to keep it with the Spartans. Kaufman up top, dishes off. Nishimoto drives, kicks it back, shot on the way, no good. Blow that whistle, man. Tipped out of bounds, they're gonna give it to the Spartans. Uh, 3.04 to go here in the first half. Hughes tries to kick it off of a Mustang as she's running out of time, but they're able to feel that ground ball and go coast to coast, but unable to convert on the layup. As Conkin was trying to get there. Let her look at it. See her come down, can't get it. And she alertly kicks the ball out and wow. Ball is awarded to the Mustangs. Yeah. 
Almost a travel, and a travel will be called as they try to get it into Becky Chu, and Chu took one too many steps. And Shimoda with it. Hughes looking to drive. She'll put it up, and the floater doesn't go. Gets her own rebound. She'll bring it back out. Great hustle by Jamie Hughes. She's a good ball player. Shot on the way, no good. Off back iron. Hughes gets her own rebound. Hughes just having fun out there. Smile on her face, and she just keeps playing. Bring energy, five. Off the Mustangs. It will be Spartan ball. Natalie Lilly to inbound. <laughs> Lilly amongst a host of Mustangs and a foul will be called against Homestead. It does work the other way. <laughs> Six team foul on Homestead. The next one will push Mountain View into the bonus. Hughes up top. Lily. Get a demons, they go down low. Shot on the way is up and good by Allison Lundberg. Watch 11 on their backside. Watch 145 to go, and a foul will be called against Lundberg. Take another look at it. Is Lundberg underneath? Nice job knowing where she was in the paint and able to use the backboard to get that one to go in. Allison Takahashi at the line to shoot two as it's double bonus now for Homestead as there's more than 10 team fouls on Mountain View. It's the first. Substitution for Homestead as they bring in number 31, Courtney Carroll. Hits them both. A 26 to 13 lead, 140 to go here in the half. Nice ball movement by the Spartans there. And Elise Fitzsimmons Puts it in, she's got six points on the game. Stutter step travel called against Homestead. As Becky Chu chewed off one too many steps. Uh, another look down the floor on the last score by Mountain View. Pressure in the backcourt. Losing the handle briefly and then losing the ball is Hughes, it'll go back to the Mustangs. Three attempt is blocked by Hughes out of bounds. Homestead ball. Better look at that. So you'll see the three put up and Hughes just with the hand of justice swats it out of bounds. Three attempt on the way is uh, no good by Morita. Rebounded by the Mustangs. Another three on the way is no good. That one was by Chu. And that long rebound goes out of bounds. It'll go to the Spartans. Under a minute to play here in the half. Nishimoto picks up her dribble, gives it back to Kaufman. Kaufman looks to drive, has a lane, puts a left-handed shot up, can't get it to go. Polisso with the tip. 
And it looks like she went over the back to tip the ball. Megan Morita to shoot two. It's the first. Can't get the second. Ball is tipped around and then rebounded. Underneath by Homestead, the shot is errant, and Hughes comes out with it, gets it way out in front to Mitch. Nishimoto, and she couldn't get it to go. They're gonna call a tripping foul against Homestead, another look at it, and boy, that's a tough call. It looks like Nishimoto just sort of lost her own balance, but she'll go to the free throw line. It's the first. And the second. 30 seconds to go in the half. Marita gets it over half court. They look to bounce pass it underneath and it is no good to Courtney Carroll. And the ball will go back to Mountain View. They lead by 16. Just under 20 seconds to go here in the half. Ball tipped out of bounds by Chu. Hughes brings it up and then she'll bring the ball back to the top and set up the offense. Bischoff Kaufman has it, gets inside, gets it up off the glass, it rolls in, out, and then back in. And the buzzer sounds. We are at halftime. Mountain View in the lead, 32 to 14. My parents are really slowing down. I feel bad I can't always be there for them. How do I choose between caring for my mother and caring for my own family? I've been looking into the options, but dad doesn't want to leave his home. What do I do? Struggling to care for an aging parent? You're not alone. Learn how Home Instead Senior Care can provide the personalized in-home care your loved one needs. Home Instead. To us, it's personal. I was at a fire department training and I had these shooting pains when they just shot right up into my temples. I went to Palo Alto Medical to follow up with my doctor. He found a heart murmur. It turned out to be an aortic aneurysm, which would have killed me had he not caught it. I don't really like going to the doctor, but I, I truly like going and seeing the guy. He's a great doctor, and he saved my life. Just waiting for one kid to realize that halftime's over and it's time for him to get off the floor, and uh, they were able to do that, so we'll start now. Mountain View ball. Kaufman. Again, gets it into Hall. Hall looks to go to the hoop and a foul will be called. Offensive foul against Hall. Homestead basketball, good backcourt pressure by Mountain View. Three attempt on the way is a no good by Chu. The Mustangs able to corral the rebound. Drive to the hoop amongst the trees. Shot is up and good. 
by Megan Morita. Another look at it. See Morita go in amongst the trees and not a lot of contact there, but foul called. Morita hits the free throw. It's a 15 point Mountain View lead. Pass out of bounds, a little sloppy play to start the half here by Mountain View. It'll be Homestead basketball. Come on, Mountain View! Come on, MD! Stolen away by Mountain View. Jamie Hughes brings it up for the Spartans. Looks to drive, dishes underneath. Shot on the way by Hall, can't get it to go. Gets her own rebound. Good hustle by Hall. Three attempt, long three is no good. Rebounded by Hughes, she'll set it up. Hall to Hughes off the glass and in. Hughes has eight points. A foul called against Mountain View. Three attempt on the way, no good. Rebounded underneath by Taylor Hall. And intercepted, great job. Oh, no, not intercepted, but Hughes goes to the ball to save the turnover. Shot is up and good by Hughes. She's got 10. Only a sophomore. And probably the best player on the Mountain View team right now. At least tonight she is. Foul called against Homestead. Against Megan Morita. Try the give and go. And good defense there by the Mustangs, but the ball will stay with Mountain View. 5.36 to go here in the third quarter. Nishimoto with the ball, loses a handle, but a foul will be called against Homestead. Hall to inbound, gets it into Kaufman. Shot on the way is good by Corey Nishimoto. Nishimoto has six points on the night. And a foul will be called. It is against Homestead, an offensive foul. Or check that, they called it against Mountain View. I was just confused by the numbers that he had given to the desk. It looked like he did not give 1-1, one, one, but Homestead ball. It was a good call as the feet were not set underneath. And it was a blocking call, but Mountain View gets the ball back. Hughes will bring it up. Nishimoto into the paint, flips a shot up, can't get it to go, gets the net, and that's about it, and rebounded by Homestead. Come on, 
Mustang ball. Oshiro with it. Dish out three attempt on the way is a no good by Takahashi. A scramble for the ball, whistle. Homestead ball, 422 to go here in the third. Good ball movement by Homestead, just keeping it outside the perimeter. Nice drive to the hoop, high off the glass, nothing doing, rebounded by Mountain View. As Oshiro put that one high up off the glass. Into the paint, shot is no good by Peterson, rebounded underneath by Shariari. Quickly up the floor come the Mustangs. A travel prior to anything going on. That was Nicolette Kunkin. Carly Polisso into the game for Mountain View brings it up. Kaufman with it back to Polisso. Inside the shot of Peterson is blocked by Shariari. Mustang ball underneath Shariari, the shot up and good. She's got six points. Nice ball movement by the Spartans and the layup is good by Kelsey Peterson, her first points of the night. Tipped and a foul will be called against Jamie Hughes. So Jamie Hughes will leave the game and Corey Nishimoto will come back in for Mountain View. 2.44 to go here in the third quarter, a 40 to 19 Mountain View lead. Play him tight, MV. Play him tight. Down low, Shariari and a foul will be called against Mountain View. KMVT Sports presenting sponsor is the Palo Alto Medical Foundation, part of the Sutter Health Network. Choose your PAMF doctor today. Nikki Shariari will go to the line to shoot two. Hits the first. Can't get the second, but it's rebounded by the Spartans. And then a scramble for the ball on the takeaway attempt. Jump ball is called. Possession arrow favors Mountain View. The possession, yes, it is Mountain View ball as the possession arrow was favoring them. So Spartan basketball. Stolen away by the Mustangs. Shot is no good, scramble for the ball. A jump ball is called, possession arrow favors Homestead. Two 
Two eleven to go here in the quarter. Both teams going deeper into their benches now at this point of the game. Here in the third quarter, some players on the court we haven't seen tonight. Ball is tipped out of bounds. Can I get a timeout now? Timeout called by Mountain View, breaking the action. 157 to go in the third, 40 to 20. Spartans. The Spartans have plenty to cheer about as they lead by 20. They are so excited they're doing backflips here in the in the gymnasium, the Chester F. A. Walt Memorial Gymnasium. It'll be Homestead basketball. They get it inside to Shariari. She can't get it to go, gets her own rebound, but has the shot blocked. And Hughes comes away with it. Lily with the ball. Lily looks to drive and she travels. And she comes into the paint. Stolen away by Hughes. Tipped away, ball stays with the Spartans. Hughes up top, looks to drive into the paint and she is fouled on a reach in. Substitutions being made by Homestead. We're just about to get back underway here. Natalie Lilly to inbound. Hughes, three on the way is no good. Doesn't get anything and the ball goes out of bounds and Lilly pulls up a little bit lame after the shot. Come on, Jamie, keep it. Long down court pass stolen away by Lilly. Brings it back and she is, she carries the ball and they call the turnover. Another look at it, you'll see her bring it up and well, she did carry it, but there was also, <laughs> looked like she was being, Looks like yeah, it looks like there was all sorts of things could have been called on that play. Oshiro with the ball. Stay with your player. Turn around shot, no good. By Shariari. Hard ball quickly into the paint. Nice pass to Fitzsimmons, and she lays it up and in. Nice assist by Corey Nishimoto. Watch the screen. 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Twelve on the shot clock and a whistle. A three second violation called against Homestead. Homestead coach is not thrilled with the call. Mountain View basketball, 19 seconds to go in the quarter. Stutter step travel by Lilly. Little shuffle of the feet there and over to the Mustangs it'll go. Get the ball back. 10 seconds to go here in the third quarter. A 22 point lead for the Spartans. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Quickly up the floor come the Mustangs losing her balance and almost the ball. No travel called on that one. 
They don't have a lot of time to work it around. The ball goes out of bounds, but the clock expires before it does. Three quarters in the books, 42 to 20, Mountain View. Helping the Spartan out. He's older, the Spartan, and uh, he is the last surviving Spartan, so they've got to take good care of him here. It's showing off his dental plan. Probably Delta Dental. Spartan basketball. Hall gives to Hughes. Shot on the way, no good. Hughes gets her own rebound, takes it back out. Poliso, three attempt, no good. Ball is tipped. They tip it back into play, and the Mustangs come away with it. Pass goes through the hands of Becky Chu out of bounds, and it will be Mountain View ball. Drive to the hoop, shot is up and good by Taylor Hall. Nice job by Hall there. Quick shot is no good by Becky Chu as she drove into the paint. Hughes. Hall with the shot, count it, and she is fouled and will go to the line. Taylor Hall has six points on the night. We'll look to add to it. Another look at it, the pass off to Taylor Hall. She drives into the paint as she's fouled. She puts the shot up and gets it to go. Shut down number 11, Mount View. I'm sorry, they waved off the hoop. They called the foul. They said it was before the shot. A little surprised at that. Stolen away by Homestead. So the score remains 44 to 20. Three attempt on the way is good. And buried by Lindsay Nishimoto, her first points of the night. Hughes brings it up. Oh, uh, nice recovery by Taylor Hall. Shot is up and good by Jamie Hughes. She's got 12. Three attempt on the way, no good. Rebounded underneath by Poliso. Hughes will bring it up. Oh. Poliso three on the way, no good. Follows her shot, gets the rebound. Slow it down, slow it down. Poliso off the glass, gets it to go. Bailey Poliso, she's got five points. Mustang basketball. Hoshiro dishes off. Drive to the hoop, shot is up, no good by Takahashi. Put back, no good. Put back again. This time it is good by Megan Morita. She's got seven points. 48 25, Mountain View. Calissa with a head of steam. Puts it up, can't get the shot to go. Rebound underneath by Takahashi. Stay with your player, MV. Set it up. Three attempt on the way is good. Allison Takahashi. Her first field goal of the night. It's a three. She's got seven points. 
Sinclair with the ball, gives off to Hughes. Hughes, nice bounce pass. Shot is up and good by Rhea Bergman. And a timeout will be called by Mountain View. This game is brought to you by Homestead Senior Care. Homestead, to them, it's personal. And the Palo Alto Medical Foundation. Choose your PAMF doctor today. 4-11 to go in the game. 50-28 to Mountain View. Shot of some of the Lady Spartans from the JV team who played earlier tonight and came away with a victory. Mustang ball, four minutes to go in the game. Three attempt on the way is good. Nicolette Conkin, her first points of the night. It's a three-point shot. Jump ball is called, possession arrow favors Homestead. Haley Sawamura in the game for Mountain View. First time we've called Haley's name tonight. Three on the way, good! Allison Takahashi has two threes here in the fourth quarter. Has 10 points on the night now. Nice pass underneath. Layup is a no good by Fitzsimmons. Three on the way by Polisso, no good. And rebounded by the Mustangs. Stay, you want your player, Mountain View? You need your thunder, coach! Get on. Three minutes. Stay with your player! Here in the ball game. Try to get underneath, they'll work it around. Drive to the hoop shot, and before the shot, three seconds in the key, called against Homestead. And it'll be Mountain View basketball game, basketball. Sixteen point Mountain View lead. Mountain View coach puts his starters back in. And three seconds called at this end of the floor. Come on, girl. So we've got a rash of three second calls going on now. This is the flavor of the minute. Stay with your players. Pressure in the backcourt. Drive to the hoop, no good. Scramble for the ball and a foul will be called. Nikki Shariari will go to the line to shoot two. Hits the first. New D, let's play defense, Mountain View. Get that rebound, grab it. Cannot get the second one to go, rebounded by Hughes. Hughes pushes it up the floor for the Spartans. Nice underneath pass. Shot by Elise Fitzsimmons. Misses the mark, but she'll go to the line to shoot two. 2.02 to go in the game. Can't get the second one to go either. Rebounded by Homestead. Out 
Three on the way, no good. Rebounded by Homestead. Stolen away by Taylor Hall. Hall to the hoop, she's fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Another look at it. You'll see the steal and then Taylor comes away with it. Comes the length of the court and before she can get the shot up, the reach in foul is called. High arching shot is no good. Can't get either, rebounded underneath by Shariari. Quickly up the floor come the Mustangs. They have to score often here in the last minute in 36 seconds, and they turn the ball over on that one. They get it to Hughes. Hughes, nice bounce pass, but they'll bring it back up top to set it up. Kaufman has a wide open three. She takes it. Can't get it to go. Rebound underneath by the Mustangs. A minute 10 to go in the game. Now you no need to foul here. They just want to make it a little difficult on Homestead to get the ball up the floor and run some seconds off the clock. Shot is up and good. By number 21, that's Kamika Oshiro. Pass underneath, shot is up, no good. Tipped and it will be Mustang ball. 35 seconds to go in the game. Three on the way, no good. Rebound underneath by Hughes. 24 seconds, shot clock is off. Mountain View can hang on to the ball and run the clock out. Hughes will take it back out. 10 seconds. Pelissa with the ball. And uh, that will do it as Mountain View runs the clock out. And they come away with a 50 to 37 victory over the visiting Homestead Mustangs. We'd like to thank our producer director, Bobby Chastain, our camera crew of Renee Mendoza, Holly Leonard, Aces Flag, uh, Ashish Karat. Special thanks to Mountain View High School for letting us come out and bring this ball game to you here tonight. You can view all games online or order a DVD copy of any game off the website kmbt15.org sports. For all of us here at KMBT, I'm Paul Cunningham. We'll see you next time.